Hi everyone, happy Monday. I hope you all are doing well and you had a good weekend. And this is a longer message today highlighting two important things. The first thing that I want to bring to your attention and highlight is summer school. The link um, that was posted earlier this week is the link that you will have to use to apply for summer school. Um, I just want to let everybody know this is the first time that an art class is going to be offered in summer school. The art class that is being offered is Elements of Art. This is being offered to any student that has failed Elements or that has not yet taken Elements. So if you know of someone or anyone that needs this class, please let them know to fill out that link. Um, it will be offered over the course of 16 classes spanning from June 22nd to July 14th. If you want additional information about whether or not um, if you should apply, please reach out to your teacher or your guidance counselor and we'll be able to give you more information. The second thing is this week we'll be looking at one final way to create balance and that will be through radial balance or symmetry. Radial symmetry describes sym symmetrical lines, shapes and colors and other elements that are arranged or radiate around a central point. The colors, uh, the designs um, radiate out from a central point um, called a radius, a straight line from the center of a circle out to the outer edges of the circle. It's used in math and art. So if you can think of something that perhaps looks like a daisy or a flower, in the center of that flower is your bud and then the petals radiate out from the center. So that is a very basic radial design. Many different cultures use radial balance within their works of art and in the slide presentation that I have up for you this week, we'll show you a couple of different examples of how they, how different cultures use radial balance. You will be tasked with creating your own radial symmetrical work of art. This week you will create three sketches. Each sketch must have the following, at least three shape, shapes, geometric or organic, at least two lines, and at least four places where your lines and or shapes touch the edges of your template. Um, there are two ways that we are offering on how to complete this design. There's a quarter step process where you will create one quarter of your design and transfer it multiple times around the center. Or you can use a radial template where instead of creating a quarter, you're going to create your designs within bands which again radiate out from the center. For Wednesday of this week you're going to create three rough drafts of the quarter design of your radial work of art. You are not creating the entire design so you are not going to be expected to hand in three complete radial symmetrical designs for this week. All you're doing is creating one quarter of that design. Um, each of the three designs have to be different because they're rough drafts. So again it's just the quarter, it is not the whole thing. Please review the slide presentation and either attach your works of art to the presentation as you will have your own copy once you download it. Um, this again is if you, um, when you click on the assignment, you'll see the Google slide presentation. If you go up to the top of it um, and download it, it then becomes your own copy. And then that way then you can turn that back in, in the assignment. Or you can simply draw out your three um, radial uh, quarter designs, take a picture of it, and then turn that in on the assignment page. Either way, you have to turn in your own work. There is no looking for pictures on the internet and then uploading those. We're looking for your actual work, your actual rough draft sketches um, to receive credit for this assignment. Um, have a wonderful start to your week, and I'll catch up with you on Wednesday.